We seem to have seen a lot of videos out there all talking about the rumors for the Switch Pro. Uh, a lot more leaks and rumors came out this past week and everyone is talking about it. So why not I do the same? Now it's kind of funny to see all the stuff that's uh, being talked about because I do have some thoughts both positive and negative on this whole um, rumor and leaks and everything. But before I get into that, I want to let you know about a giveaway I'm doing for a redeemable code to get three months free of YouTube Premium. Uh, I personally use YouTube Premium. I love using it. I love the ad free. I love that it has the music app included for me. Uh, I get to play my videos in the background. If I want to just listen to something instead of watching it, I can do that. Uh, you can download videos to your uh, device if you want. Uh, so if you're someone who always wanted to try YouTube Premium and never wanted to pay for it, or if you had it before and you want another free trial, Here's a giveaway for you then. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is leave a like and comment on this video. If you're new to this video, new to this channel, subscribe and let me know in the comments that you subscribed. Also check out the podcast channel that I do with a couple of friends of mine called the Three Amigos Podcast. Check out that channel, like, subscribe, all that stuff and you'll be entered in this giveaway and I will announce the giveaway winner within the next couple of videos. You know, assuming we get people who actually uh, try to win this giveaway. So uh, every, links to the other channel will be in the description below. So let's just jump into the Nintendo Pro news. Now, here are some of the uh, things that I kind of knew was gonna happen. Um, the rumors are they aren't going to announce the Switch Pro at E3. They wanna do it before E3 at their own Nintendo Direct. They did it for the Switch when it was first announced. They did it for the Switch Lite. So I knew they were gonna do their own Direct for the Switch Pro. That being said, uh, there are some other things that's happening with this uh, announcement that I am kind of puzzled about. So one of the things that I'm puzzled about is the rumors are Nintendo is going to uh, phase out the Switch and the Switch Lite to make room for the Switch Pro. And that could potentially mean that they were going to stop manufacturing and selling the Switch and the Switch Lite and would only sell the Switch Pro. My issue with that is you just released a Switch Lite in blue. Uh, if you didn't see my unboxing video for that, link in the description below as well. But you just released a blue Nintendo Switch Lite. And you, before that, you had the coral pink uh, Switch Lite that was released. So there is room for more color options to be released for the Switch Lite to give the consumer more options for what they want to purchase. Now, they did this with the 3DS when they had the new Nintendo 3DS and the new Nintendo 3DS XL and then the 2DS and the new two, the new Nintendo 2DS XL. It phased out all the older models to make room for those models. So we do see a potential for that happening here with the Switch Pro. Uh, moving on from that, um, there has been talks about games that are Switch Pro exclusive. Um, and this did happen as well with the 3DS. There was games that were only playable on the new Nintendo 3DS. The only ones I can think of was, I think Shin Megami Tensei was one of them, but Xenoblade Chronicles was one of them, and Minecraft was another one. So we could see that happening for the Switch Pro, because they did announce in the first initial rumor and leaks that there were going to be Switch Pro exclusive games. What is the problem with that? Well, Number one, it forces people to buy the Switch Pro. Now, I don't think Nintendo has to do anything like that to convince people to buy the Switch Pro. I think anyone with a Switch or anyone who wants to get a Switch at this point is gonna go for the Switch Pro. You have all the YouTubers who are gonna buy the Switch Pro and you have people who may not, ha may not do YouTube and they have a Switch, but they want that 4K experience. They want that improved experience. They're gonna buy a Switch Pro. And the problem with the whole Pro exclusive thing is that if it does happen, we could potentially see Breath of the Wild 2 being exclusive to the Switch Pro. We could see Bayonetta 3 exclusive to the Switch Pro. Maybe uh, Metroid Prime 4, and if they do a, a trilogy of Metroid Prime Remastered, will be exclusive to the Switch Pro. We could see Pokemon Legends Arceus exclusive to Switch Pro. A side note to that, if you didn't hear, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl uh, are releasing November, I believe, 18th and Pokemon Legends Arcus is releasing January 28th. And with all these rumors of the Switch Pro, they did say it's rumored to release in September. So we could see Pokemon Legends Arcus as the first Switch Pro exclusive game based on what we can assume they're trying to do with this game and its expansive environment. 
So it is kind of um, a difficult situation because you might have people who won't buy the Switch Pro because it's rumored to price around $400, could it be more. It can't be more than 500 because it won't be able to compete to the PS5 and the Series X. It's just not on the same scale as those consoles. So I could see a 400 price tag for the Switch Pro. People may not be able to buy that console. So it makes me wonder, why not have the situation of you can play all the games on your Switch, but you'll have a much more definitive experience on the Switch Pro, just like the PS4 and the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. You can play all the games on the base console, but you have a much more definitive experience on the upgraded model. That would be an ideal thing for the Switch Pro. What I hope they don't do, however, is if they go with that option, I hope they don't force you to download extra uh, data for the Switch Pro port. Uh, some games on Switch do require extra download data because they're not all, the, the whole game isn't on the card. Uh, Burnout Paradise did it, NBA 2K does it, Mortal Kombat does it, I believe uh, WWE did it, but no one played that crap. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons had it, Illy Noir had it. Uh, so these games force you to download extra data because it couldn't fit on the card because those companies didn't want to pay extra for the bigger spice, the bigger size um, game card. So I do hope that we don't see a, a situation where you can play, play Breath of the Wild 2 on the Switch, but if you have a Switch Pro, you then have to download extra data. Uh, one thing that we did hear about the Switch Pro, other than the 4K screen, is that um, it will have supposedly a bigger internal memory, which is great because the Switch only has 32 gigabytes internal and you're forced to buy an external anyway. Um, so there's that, there's rumors that it may have a better battery, I believe. Uh, so there is some cool things that could happen. I actually had a theory, it's not true because they already confirmed it's not gonna be my theory, but we have a Switch that can play portable and docked and the Switch Lite only portable. I had a theory of what if the Switch Pro was only docked? Like you couldn't take it out, we couldn't take it with you and that what makes it 4K. It would have been interesting to see it, it would have been cool, it would have been crappy, but interesting. But it's not the case. They did say it's going to be dockable and portable. Uh, so that's what's happening. Um, so like I said, we are expecting an announcement hopefully soon. They said before E3. I believe E3 is in June. So we should see an, an announcement hopefully soon. Um, which June is going to be a busy month anyway because we have Game Builder Garage. We have Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remastered for the Switch. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, I believe, comes out in June or July. Something like that. So... Um, I do hope that they do something right with the Switch Pro. I mean, granted, the Switch has been fine. They, they've been doing right with that. And I hope the Switch Pro is even better with, you know, what they want to do. I hope they get their image out there, what they want it to be. And I hope it's fair for everybody. I think it should be fair. If you don't want the Switch Pro, that's fine. You can still have your Switch. But if you want a Switch Pro, it's there for you. Uh, I don't know what else to say really about this. Just some basic stuff that was been talked about um, for this console. Uh, so that's my video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and try to get that giveaway because I do want to give away that code because I'm not going to use it. So um, we're close to 200 subscribers. We're almost there. So let's keep pushing. Let's get that goal reached. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm at the Online Tech and I'll see you guys next time.